Okay, y'all, let's get started. In a previous video, I showed y'all how to make these really easy fabric flowers. Today, I'm going to use the same concept, but I'm going to show you how you can make them patriotic. With 4th of July just around the corner, these make great um, little additions that you can add to dough bowls to make, you know, you can use them as bow fillers. All you need for these little fabric flowers is just four circles of fabric. And I usually just trace around a little teacup saucer and that's usually the right size. You just wanna use a piece of wire and you wanna curl it around at the top so your fabric doesn't slip off and then you just start gluing each one on. You do wanna poke a hole in the center of your fabric and that way you can slide your fabric onto the wire. Now I just use coordinating fabrics that I had that you know I had some that was red. I got some um, flower sackcloth that I'd stained in coffee. I used a, a doily. I used this little red in the center of this one. It's just one of those shop rags. You can get a pack of those, very inexpensive at Walmart. Now, at the end of the video, I will show you how I stage everything. But another bow filler that's really great, and for this time of the year, being, you know, getting ready for 4th of July, just around the corner, here's another little idea for bow filler. I'm just going to make some stuffed hearts, and I have showed how to make stuffed hearts in so many videos. But you just want to cut out a heart pattern and use anything that you have that's shaped like a heart, and you can make these different sizes. I made this one, and then I'm going to make a smaller one for you. But you just cut out two pieces of fabric, and I'm just going to hot glue mine. If you like to sew on your sewing machine, you can absolutely sew these also. But I'm just going around the edges. I'm leaving a little bit of an inseam. You always leave a little hole where you can put your stuffing in, stuff it really well, and then just glue it up. And then once you get them glued up, then the fun part happens because you can embellish these so many ways. You can put whatever little, you know, patriotic embellishments you have on them. If you've got some kind of patriotic stamps, you could always, you know, stamp your fabric too. So these are a lot of fun to make. And you, like I say, you can just make different sizes and different ones. But I just added a primitive bow and a button to that one. This one is a little bit smaller. I'm making it the same way. I just cut out a little smaller heart using a little heart pattern that I had. And I'm just using red and white ticking stripe fabric. And I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. But once you get it stuffed, just glue it up. And then I'm going to go around this one with my, with my fingernails. And I'm just going to kind of fray the edges on this one. This one I'm going to add a little scrappy bow to. So I'm just going to take some coordinating colors. Since I've already got the red and white, I wanted to use some blue. So I got some blue ticking stripe and then I just got some stained flower sack cloth just to kind of make my bow a little primitive. And then I'm just going to, you know, you just stack your ribbons in an X, get it, get as many little fabrics as you want, just depending on how full you, of a bow you want. And then make sure to trim your edges down to your desired size for your bow. And once you get your edges trimmed off, just fluff it out and you've got the cutest little bow. Now I just kind of tied mine up with some cream colored twine and I'm gonna leave the little tails. I'm gonna hot glue it on and then I'm gonna just embellish this one using some Totally Dazzle jewelry. And I'll have a link to Totally Dazzle down in my description box. I also want to give a huge thank you to Homery for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about Homery and what they have to offer. They are a home furnishing online platform. They offer beautiful, high quality furnishings for your home, for indoor and outdoor, whatever your style is. If you're minimalist, modern farmhouse, if you like boho, they have a style of furnishings for whatever style you desire. They have so many options to choose from. And if you don't know what you like, they also have uh, ideas out there on their website for you to look through. So I'm going to leave a link to their website down below. Make sure to go out and check out Homery. They offer discounts all the time. They have free shipping on all orders, 30-day returns, and they also have customer service 24-7. I don't know if y'all remember a couple of years ago, but I actually received another piece of home refurniture. It was my first time to try their, their products. And let me tell you something, I absolutely love the buffet that I put in my, my family room when I use it for an entertainment center. This time around, I got an entryway console table. Y'all, this piece right here is absolutely beautiful, and I'm gonna leave a link to it 
down in my description box and also in a pinned comment. If you don't like the style of it, they also recommend similar products that are similar to this one. Or if you have a different style, they'll give you some decor ideas of products that will suit your style. Once it came, I could not wait to get it out of the box. So as soon as Ben got home, we unpackaged it. And I just want to tell you, they take great customer service in packing their products. That, that also goes along with their customer service and the high quality of their furnishings. You can see how well they packaged it. And that tells you a lot about a company when they take all this pride, it, you know, and go beyond packaging your product so it will arrive to your home safe and sound. They even put the doorknobs on the inside just so they will not get, you know, damaged or broke off. And, I, and they're very easy just to take them off the inside and just put them on the outside. Now I'm going to style this beautiful console table for you and just let you see how beautiful the quality of it is. And I cannot wait to style this in my home. Right now, I've got it in our bedroom, styling it for you. But as soon as we get our condo remodeled, this is going to go to the condo because I actually have a very nice foyer area and I cannot wait to put this table there. So y'all will be seeing this again in upcoming videos. I also wanted to mention that Homery is so nice to give all of my viewers a discount code. So there will also be a discount code along with their website link. So make sure to go out and check them out and be able to save even more money on their beautiful home furnishings. Now the next project I'm going to take y'all outside and work on because we are having some beautiful weather here in Alabama. Okay y'all, I've got this piece and I've had it for a while. Uh, I paid $4.99 for it. I got it at Goodwill. As you can see, it's got like some little, little peg hooks in it. I'm sure somebody probably used this for jewelry or something, but I've got the perfect transfer. I've been eyeing this transfer for a while and I finally received it the other day. So I think it's going to fit so perfect on this piece. So I'm going to get it painted up and I'm going to show y'all how beautiful this transfer is going to look on this little $4.99 piece. So all I'm going to do to prepare this piece is it's got six little, little hooks in it. They're like this. I'm just going to take each one of these out and I don't even think I'm going to fill up the holes. I think once we get the transfer on it and get it painted, I don't think the holes will show up. You know, they're kind of tiny. But if they do, I can always go back and add some wood putty. Okay, got the little pegs removed. I've wiped it down really good. So now I'm just going to start painting it. The inside of this, it looks like, I don't know, if maybe one time this was like a cabinet door or something. But as you can see, the inside has really pretty wood grain. And then it's got a really pretty, you know, framed border around it. So I think this piece is going to paint up really good. I hope it don't bleed. If it does start to bleed, I'll quit painting, let it dry, and then I will go over it and spray it with my shellac um, clear coat. And that usually helps the bleeding. Now in this piece, I started to spray paint it, but then I thought I will just save my spray paint and I'll just go over it with my white chalk paint. So I'm just using Rust-Oleum white linen chalk paint. So once I got the piece painted and it dried really well, I think I did two to three coats on this. I brought it inside and here is the beautiful transfer. I'll have this transfer that I'm using linked down below and also in a pinned comment. But this um, transfer comes in a tube and that means that it's a very large transfer. It's a 24 by 35. This is just part of the transfers that you get in the tube. There is also uh, some more larger transfers that come on these sheets. So you get a lot of transfer for the money. So I'm just going to apply this one to this piece because I thought it fit perfect on there. I applied it and then I always go over it with the clear sheet and burnish it on. Now I'm going to show y'all some more ideas for some really cute little bow fillers. Now my friend Deborah, I went over at her house one day to pick up some picture frames she was going to give me and she has the cutest little she shed crafting area and she makes a lot of things 
So she had made some of these and had them sitting in her little she shed in a, in a little dough bowl. Well, just like a little basket, I think. But anyway, I thought, well, that, those make great bow fillers. So she's the one that inspired me to make these. But just take two pieces of drop cloth or whatever kind of fabric you want. I cut seven by seven inch squares, but you can also do six by six, depending on what size, you know, you want. And then I wanted to use my sewing machine and I got one of them sewed all the way around. I left a hole where I could put my filler in and then you want to wash them. Once you get them sewed up or glued up, put them in the washing machine and dry them and that way you'll get a really good frayed edge. Well, my sewing machine tore up so I ended up having to hot glue the rest of them. So I'm going to have to see if I can get my sewing machine repaired because my dad gave it to me many years ago and I love using it on simple things because I'm definitely not a seamstress but I do love to get it out and just sew you know, simple projects with it. But then you just want to take your stamps and you can use whichever, whatever stamps you may have. And these are more like, um, I've got some farm animal stamps, but I'll link all the ones that I'm using down below. And I love that rabbit. I've used him so many times. But just go and have fun with your little bow filler. I guess these are like little pillows. We're making little mini pillows. But I'm just going to put stamps on them. And also, if you have the croc stamps, I think those would be pr really pretty on some of them too. But I thought the farm animals would work really well. So I'm just taking various ones that I have. And if they fit on, on my little pillow, I'm putting the whole stamp. If they don't fit, I just put part of them. So, you know, I had so much fun making these and they're so easy. But, you know, once you get them stamped and the stamp dries, then just go in now, fill them up. And then either sew them back or hot glue them. And, and if you run out of uh, pillow filler like I did, I had to get creative this day because I definitely didn't want to run the store. I just used some little trash bags. So if you, you know, get in a bind sometime, trash bags work fine. And some of them I even cut in half just to get them up in my, you know, my little opening a little bit better. But just stuff them in there as much as you need. And actually, I think the bags worked out even better because they have a little bit more structure to them. Now, my cow, he was the biggest farm animal of all. So I'm just going to put part of him uh, on the little, little little pillow. And I think these turned out really rustic in farmhouse. But once you get them made, you can just put all of these like in some kind of a basket you know, your dough bowls, and just set these out, and they add such a great little detail to your vignettes. Now, to style my little pillows, I'm going to take this wooden basket, and I got this at a yard sale not too long ago, and I only paid one dollar for it. So, I'm going to add a couple layers of chalk paint to mine, and I'm going to paint it white, and then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to distress it. So, now I'm going to show you all the projects that I've just made in the video today, and just give y'all some styling ideas and inspiration.
Don't forget, I have a vendor booth now at Stevens Unique Antiques in Rogersville, Alabama. So a lot of the products that I make in my videos now, you can now purchase them. I will leave all of Stevens' um, information down below, so if you want to get in contact with him on something you may be interested in, he will be glad to help you and he will be happy to ship it to you if you are not local. And I also want to thank Homery again for sponsoring today's video and make sure to go out and check out their website to see all the beautiful furniture and home decor that you have to choose from. They're also going to leave me a discount code for y'all, so make sure to go out, check out their website, use my discount code to save even more money. And I truly appreciate all of y'all for watching. And if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, make sure to do so. And also make sure to go over and subscribe to my new channel, Teresa Green. As always, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all's support and encouragement and all of your nice comments. I read all of them. So until the next video, I hope all of y'all have a blessed week. And I hope to see y'all again soon in my next video. Bye, y'all.